What's up, guys, and welcome back to the John Eke channel. Thanks so much for watching. I do apologize. My voice is a bit raspy. I'm not sick. I don't feel sick, but for some reason, it's been raspy, maybe because I I spent too much time in the steering room. I don't know, but let's get into the video. This one is pretty crazy because, as you guys know, if you don't know, early this month, February 11th, at Lakewood Church down in Texas, there was an active shooter. This one is pretty wild, so let's get into it. Very recently, HPD released body cam footage from off-duty officers who were working security at Lakewood Church. As you guys see here, we have multiple security officers who were cops running to the threat. When gunfire erupted in the hallway. <laughs> officers seen running towards the danger as churchgoers, even children, ran for their lives. I just want to make sure that we highlight what's going on here because a lot of people want to defund the police, but yet we have off-duty police officers, off-duty, who are working security at a church and something terrible happens where there's gunshots and they hear gunshots and what do they do? They run towards the gunshots as police officers and first responders should. So the next time that you wanna think about defunding the police and saying that they're terrible, why don't you go run towards the gunfire? Here at Lakewood Church, we need units now. It was off-duty officers. We have these officers running towards the threat and we can see here earlier on in this camera footage that there was a car parked up right up to the front entrance and a woman gets out and a little boy, which turns out to be her son. And initially she's tried getting in the front doors of the church, but could not get in. And so she went in another way. And as you can see here, she is literally going into the crowd and she's, I mean, I believe already shooting with an AR-15 into the church, starts to shoot her rifle, and we can see people running away. And of course, security detail doesn't know what's going on, so they're being very cautious. In my opinion, and I'm quarterbacking here, uh, like it, it's almost like a little too much like of what's going on, and I understand it's a huge room, it, it's a huge area, and they don't know where it's coming from. And of course, we see here that another officer is, is taking gunfire and trying to take cover, trying to be concealed and trying to take cover because I mean, she at any point could probably get shot and die. Captured on body cam footage in the middle of the firefight. It's something interesting here that happens when the one of the agents says, drop the gun and the threat says, I won't. I have a bomb. Now, a couple things here in my mind. When I was a police officer, we were trained. If something like this happened, we run towards the threat, yes. And number two, we assess what's going on very quickly. As the chaos unfolded, officers heard forcing themselves to keep moving towards the threat. We need to approach. And then in that assessment, we make very fast decisions to preserve life as fast and as much as possible. And he says, drop the gun. But in my opinion, again, I'm quarterbacking. I was not there, so I don't know what was going through his mind. But we know that there's someone shooting in a church. There is gunfire. There are kids around. There are people involved, innocent people who just want to go to church on a Sunday. The last thing that I'm going to be doing and asking is to drop the gun because I already know that you will not be dropping that gun. You've already explained to everybody in that room. You've already shot people and are shooting towards people. Now, maybe... I'm also thinking about it as well, that he maybe thought, if I cover my butt and say, hey, I gave her a chance to drop it, I said, physically drop the gun. And if you can hear that in the audio, maybe that bodes well and better for the agent, which I feel like maybe that could be it. But also, there's an active shooter in your church, in the building. The last thing you, I, I would think, is drop the gun. No, you're going to neutralize that threat no matter what, the point of negotiation has left. Like you have no room for negotiation. There's a threat to the people in the building and the church. No, you're gonna get stopped. You're going to die. You're gonna get shot. It's also interesting because she says, I have a bomb. It's going to go off. Uh, that later, obviously she did not have a bomb. She was just saying that I think to uh, get more time to shoot people, uh, which obviously ended very badly for her. But it was just interesting that he said, drop the gun and I think there just may have been maybe it's part of his training which I again like if that's what it is then by all means like that's his training and I'm just quarterbacking here but like still bravo to the agent who 
engaged in that threat in that conversation. Maybe he was trying to bring her down and de-escalate the situation in a whole different manner and different way. And so honestly, maybe that that was a good effort in trying to do so. I believe that exchange with the shooter is a TABC agent uh, in Texas, which is a tobacco alcohol beverage commission agent. He was working security detail at the church. He's an off-duty officer and he engaged uh, in that threat and ultimately did shoot the threat and she died at the scene. We also have different body cam footage of different officers who are trying to engage and go going towards the threat, which is, is really cool to see. I say cool because a lot of people think that police officers are going to be running the opposite way, but I just, I want to praise these off-duty police officers uh, and security detail for going towards something that is very dangerous and can be life threatening and life ending. The job is to protect people at all costs. And these officers did that. And I just, I want to just like make sure we all just realize what that means and what that meant that day for those officers. And I think that's pretty apparent here when this officer is praying because she's about to encounter a very deadly active threat. Anything can happen if she pops out and tries to get a good shot at that active threat, she could get shot and that could be it. I wish more people would see that these officers are literally giving up their life and trying to end something that could be bad for everyone. And I think most people can see that, but a lot of people will choose to think, oh, they didn't de-escalate the situation. Oh, they could have not used their guns, but yet our threat, our active shooter is using a gun to shoot people. Now, of course, at the end of this, the uh, TABC agent did neutralize the threat. Uh, and there was a boy that was shot as well. And we see here that uh, off-duty officers uh, came together and prayed over this, over this child. Which honestly is crazy that more people didn't die and get hurt because, as you see the the shooter walking through this, you know, group of people. And to be very honest, she had quite a bit of time from when she was engaged by officers to when she entered the building and the group of people. And I feel like more people could have died and gotten hurt, but thank God that didn't happen. And thank God for those officers who ran towards the threat and neutralized her. Like that's, that's amazing. That's what we freaking want and what we need uh, in this country right now. Now it was kind of my final thoughts here. Like everything starts going really fast and really slow. Like you get insane tunnel vision where you're only focused on this. You don't really see what's around you. That's why it's called tunnel vision. Your heart starts beating real fast. Your adrenaline starts to rise up. And so you're only focusing on like a couple things at a time, maybe two or three, but like that one thing of the shooter being there. And as an officer, all you know is my job is to stop that threat. Like that is my job right now. And I think these officers, again, did this very well. I do want to say that I'm very happy that they were off-duty officers and not just like random security detail at the church because it could have been a lot different. Most security personnel don't train outside of when they're doing security or they don't train at all. And so the fact that these officers knew what to do in that moment speaks very highly of HPD and speaks highly of them and their trainings. Obviously tragic event here, but I think it's important for me to cover something like this because we have good police officers out there with good training that are willing to run towards gunfire and threats. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.